Brunei, you hear me? You gonna be okay. Listen, British, British, don't, you gonna hurt me now. Don't, come on now, British. I was strong, but you hurt me. Come on. British. I don't, why are you crying? Give me so many hugs at once, huh? Come on. Can somebody... Casino theme party. It's a casino theme party for your dad. Hi. Hey, <laughs> Look who I see. Hello. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, this is hubby. Oh my God, a surprise party for me? The fact that they were thinking about me instead is something I never expected. I am truly so surprised right now. Brandy, we really want you to feel appreciated okay. and loved. This is from us <laughs> to you. Oh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He was amazing. You shared with me at Joshua Tree all the amazing memories you had of him, and it really touched my heart. So we're happy to be able to do this for you. You guys are so sweet. I think these ladies are spot on with everything that they did in tribute to him. It's beautiful. Having a father that, that loved you and taught you how to love is the most powerful thing you could ever have. People love you, Brandy. This isn't the first time that a situation like this happened. Mm. Ah! <laughs> what happened? Oh my God! You okay. Oh, she's crying. Come here, Mama. Oh. Okay, we listen, British, British, don't, you gonna hurt me now. Don't, come on now, British. I was strong, but you Stop hurt me, it. come on. British. <laughs> I don't, why are you crying? Give me so many hugs at once, huh? <laughs> come on, can somebody get a chair? Are you hungry? Yes, come here, eat. Chair. I'm blown away that British came. It means a lot to have her here. Girl, we love us some of you. See, so British, you how'd you get here? trains and automobiles to get here. <laughs> Police cars too. Oh, oh you yeah. wanna finish? <laughs> well, I'm glad you have a good sense of humor, okay? You wanna talk about it? Whatever you need from us, oh, please. Oh, oh, can she eat her food, you guys? I know we care, but let her eat her food. Come on, British. Oh my God, I can't. Oh, British. What can we do? Uh, no, what can we do? We, it's okay, baby. Listen, we're here for you, okay? You know we're here to support you in any and everything that you're going through. Like, it's you not doing this by yourself. I'm gonna be fine. It's just, it's just, I don't know. I can't believe I'm crying like this. That's okay. It's, it's an real. emotional Let time. It out. Sisters around Let you, it staring out. at you, I would be crying too. Listen, let it out. It's okay. This is a safe place. It's just that sometimes you just don't want to put all that on your friends. And you said I already put a lot on you, so I just stopped. I am not going to put that off on you guys when you have babies in your own life. I'm a big girl. I can handle it myself. But I'm your sister. I understand that, but some things, when it is toxic and you have so many things going on in your life, you have to give it to God. Sometimes I just shut up and give it to God, and I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes I want to come around you guys and I want to have fun, but I can't because y'all always arguing. Can you hug me? <laughs> Can you mean it? Give her a hug. <laughs> I love you. Hearing Malaysia apologize, you know, after I don't know how long, really, it meant a lot. And, you know, hopefully she'll stick by that. That's sisterhood. That's what it is. That's what it means. I'm pretty mad at you. Especially last night, we could have fun. <laughs> and we have a lot of inside jokes about some of these bitches. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
what you're going through is like insane. I already had the intuition. My gut was just telling me something was not right. Mm -hmm. My husband fell asleep with his phone open. And the phone said, pick me up. The phone was like, pick me up. Pick me up. I'm the clothes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm reading the text messages. <sighs> so I sit up in the bed and I wake him up and I'm just showing him his phone with the text message open. And so he just looking so and stupid. When I found out that my husband was cheating, I felt devastated. And now I'm trying to keep it all together, so I'm just taking it day by day. I'm so proud of you, bro. You didn't kill him. I want to. <laughs> I was so calm, but everything that I feel like we built, it just crumbled. No marriage is perfect, but I definitely felt like I had the man that I was going to be with for the rest of my life. I'm not really sure what went wrong. I'm still questioning that myself. I've been in your shoes, and I don't ever want that again. You know what I mean? It's like I put my phone on sleep because every time I look at my phone, it's him calling me, it's him texting me. He has hopes of, you know, trying to redeem himself. The reality of it is, I don't even look at him the same. Brooke is a strong girl, so she doesn't like to show any sort of weakness. But in reality, she's hurting really, really bad. As her friend, I have to uplift her to try to remove her mind from all the other stuff. So what do you want to do? I'm divorcing him. For real, bro? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you sure? I just want to make sure you're just not angry making this decision. My children are grown. You think I'm going to build a foundation and start a whole family with a that can't keep his in his pants? You really broke our whole family apart. Hazard. You know who would really like this Jason. He he'll would? Be, he would be running all over the place. He would? Yeah. He would have really enjoyed this. And you know when Jason played, of course, mm -hmm. we're, we're their backbone. We're their mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. We make sure the house is clean. We make sure food is on the table. We make sure they game day clothes mm -hmm. is ready. How do you feel going back into that lifestyle? And that's what I'm saying, because it's starting to make me feel conflicted again, because now it's like, I got two careers. I'm going to tell you, I was so happy to get out of the league. I know. <laughs> See, I we never like, left. Are we tired? Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. Know? If you're going to be in a relationship, you give it your all, you respect that man, and you be there for him. That reminded me of <laughs> my dad. It was my mom. Yeah. The same thing. I know, Brandon. You were so close with him. <laughs> and I'd do anything to see him, too. Yeah. You guys had good times, huh? Wow. Oh, Brandy. I always tell myself they in a better place. Right. I haven't really had a chance to talk to Jackie, you know, that much in regards to what has been going on with me dealing with the passing of my dad. So just to have a friend that can relate and understand and, you know, be there for me, it feels good. Life is so short, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I love you, Jackie. I love you. Oh, my God, Brandy. Oh. Thank you. And you're going to stay your ass here with me tonight. Oh, get in there. Let's go warm up. Can I get a mimosa? Do you have sangria? We do. I want that too. All right. Thank, thank you. you. You guys. Oh my God. Kill him. Step on him. Step on him, British. Get him. I can't. I don't like bees. I can't do it. It's like a big bee. I can't. They don't come hovering like a damn chick. I, I, I saved you. What was it? It was a bee and a bug and a bird all at the same damn time. I don't mind a little nature from a distance. But if it gets too close, it's kill or be killed. And I got way too much to live for. Let me tell y'all something. I love you and I love you. And I think y'all are great. But I got a bone to pick with both of y'all. How you get Jen a man before me? Oh! And then you, you always post it. Oh, my brother, this is one of my brothers. This is one of my brothers. Oh, and I can't get none of these men. Okay. Sorry. Because the people that y'all brought it, all that stuff y'all brought to that, um, we brought to that. Snatched him up. And that was it. OK. One of the major reasons why me and Lorenzo broke up was because he tried to dominate my life. But when I actually needed him, he was nowhere to be found. And there's just no hope for us to get back together. So I've been thinking that I'm ready to start dating again. Oh. Hey, Brandy. I know.
know that we're not in the best space right now, but I didn't want to miss another big important moment in your life. I know how much your father meant to you, and I hope that this moment gives you a lot of peace and joy. And no matter what, at the heart and the core of it all, I still love you, and I'm always going to be there for you. I love you, Malaysia. Mama, Because somebody who is been going through a lot lately so I decided to set up a girls day where we go wine tasting in Malibu and I just want British to know that we love and support her and we're here for her. We just had a rough couple of days. I want you to do that. I love you. Read the card. It's from all of us. We love you. We love support you and stand beside you through this trying journey. Hope me the water and wine will bring some joy to you and put a smile on your face. Love all your sisters, XOXO. Uh, <laughs> we love you. Going through what I've been going through, I can't believe how much support the girls give to me. Like, they genuinely love me and care about me, and I, that's really appreciated because right now, I really need that support. Uh, I gotta take a picture. This is perfect, Jen. To be honest with you, my heart says, I never want to see you again. But then I look in your eyes and I look at what Malaysia was able to just do with Brandy. And the fact that I don't have no hate for you, I just don't like the disrespect. But you don't have to bend the truth, tell a lie, trick me, none of that to get me to come to support you. I, I said to you I not to point at me when you were screaming at me and calling me dumb mother bitches. The same way that you don't want to be disrespected, neither do I. I am sorry to the ends of the earth for not saying we were going to Joshua Tree. I thought if I said, come on, y'all, let's do this, we can open our minds and spirits and we can do something different. That's all. I, I can appreciate that. And moving forward, any time that you're having anything that you would like to invite me to, I just would like to know the truth, where we're actually going, where we're staying. I would like to pack properly. I would so like you're to be saying that, that must prepared. be good if I can invite you to we're gonna take baby steps. <laughs> That's yeah. you. You like to take baby steps, right? Brooke. I love you. You're my sister. And sometimes sisters have to take baby steps. Don't try to make me cry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You are loud ass belligerent woman and you don't so want to do that with me and so you are can't you. do that with we me we are stop. the same okay, you should have probably raised me because we are one in the same and i'm not going to stop and you're not going to stop so i don't yes. have no problem with you i want to make a toast with my okay uh, okay y'all really make me feel like even though i feel like the world is on me i feel like it's gonna all be okay this group has been so important to me because they've been there with me through my good times, through my bad times. To hear the word federally indicted is scary. So to be going through what I'm going through now, I just feel like it really was the support that I needed. And that's what makes our sisterhood so important to me. <laughs> I want everybody to know that when I say my street cred real, I'm not playing. <laughs> no, bitch, you got the black card. Well, Paul, to Wolf Chili, Wolf Brand Chili. <laughs> We may not always get along, but we have each other's back. And the way that they supported me through the passing of my dad and was there for me, I will forever remember that and I will always be there for these ladies. This memorial has been very healing for the ladies. I definitely feel like there's still some more work to be done. Like we're gonna continue being sisters, teaching each other, holding each other accountable, confiding in each other, calling each other at three o'clock in the morning, and we're gonna keep growing. Hi, it's Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.